Hi everybody, in this video we're going to take a look at how to set up your gradebook so that PowerTeacher Pro automatically calculates grades for your standards that are attached to your assignments. So to do this, this is for moving forward. From this point on I'm going to do this. I'm not going to worry about grading standards for assignments that have previously been entered. Let me demonstrate how I would do this. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate a math assignment. So once I'm in math, I'm going to go to create, and now I'm going to click assignment. And this is going to be a sample homework assignment. And what I'm going to do is um, demonstrate how to have it auto-calculate those standard grades. And the first thing I'm going to do before I do that, I'm going to have this be um, classwork for my category. Many of you have come to standards and you are already attaching a standard to each assignment. And since this is a math assignment for the elementary teachers, they're going to want to attach one of these standards to it. So again, in my assignment, I'm going to go to standards at the top. And this one is going to be multiplication and geometry. So I'm going to attach this standard. Now here's the next part that we need to know. After we save that, this is the hidden button. You have to go in Standards, and you have to go to Show Selected Standards. So in the Standards menu of the assignment, Show Selected Standards. And now you can see there's this Auto Calculate Assignment Standard Scores. This checkbox is not yet checked, so it's not calculating those standard grades. But when I click this, now it will automatically calculate those standard scores when I enter in scores for the assignment. And I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to press Save. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go and grade this assignment. We're going to take a look at how it's automatically calculating those scores. So I fast forwarded. I'm now into the assignment list um, scoring. So I'm going to give a score for each assignment. And I have this gradebook moved over so that you can't see the students' names just for um, security purposes. Now, normally when we're entering grades in for an assignment, when we enter them in, the standard part, you'll notice on the assignments you previously entered, there are no grades here. It's just blank, and even though we enter scores in here. Now, I'm going to show you how it's automatically going to calculate these now that we set that up um, in the assignment menu. So this is out of 10 points. And if I give this student 9 out of 10, watch what happens when we go down to the next student. It automatically converts this 9 out of 10 to an A- minus on the standards. Now, I know that these are letter grades, and we might be looking for points, or we might be looking for percentages and not letter grades for the standards. This is how it is right now. Um, and this is what we're going to work with, and it's automatically filling them, so that's going to save us a ton of time. Of course, when you're done, you can press Save um, to review one more time. When we went into an assignment, we first went to Standards. We added the standard that we wanted, and then we went to Show Selected Standards made sure this checkbox was checked. You have to set this up before you enter scores in. If you enter scores in first and come back to this auto-calculate assignment standard scores later, it will not automatically calculate those standard grades. So you need to do this first and then enter your scores in. Okay, everybody, I hope that makes sense. Um, good luck.